how to build your MongoDB Atlas building dashboard using MongoDB charts. Let's get started. So the first thing you're gonna do in this uh, demo, I'm gonna use um, this MongoDB Atlas uh, organization, which is a, a test organization. And so we're gonna click on building first. And if you scroll down a bit, just below this uh, chart, you will see a link. Learn how to explore your building data using charts. So let's open that. If it wants to open, yeah, it works, great. So that's the MongoDB uh, repository where you're gonna see all the project. So if you want to dig a bit deeper into the functions, triggers, like all the, the projects, just feel free to, to have a look at it. But basically everything I wanna do today um, is uh, just mentioned in this uh, in this repository, so feel free to have a look at it if uh, if needed. Great. So I'm gonna go back to my MongoDB Atlas organization, and the first thing I'm gonna do I'm gonna create a project. So let's create a project. I'm gonna call it Billing this uh, to L. Billing uh, uh, do delete uh, me. So that's just for me, so I don't forget to delete that. Click next, create project. Then you will be asked to create a user or beforehand maybe, yeah, let's build the database. So the thing which is cool, you won't have to create any um, paying cluster, so a free tier will, uh, will do perfectly. So let's just create that. Uh, I'm gonna choose AWS in Ireland. I mean Ireland. Um, yeah, let's just give it a name, billing. You can choose something else if you want, but I just call it billing here and create the cluster. So that's where they ask you to create a user and just to set up your network um, rules. I'm just gonna create sim test, uh, which I won't even have to use, but anyway, let's do it. Uh, and I'm gonna whitelist my IP address, which is not mine, by the way. Finish and close, great. So from there, we're gonna create the cluster. Um, the second thing I'm gonna do, just to win some time, I'm gonna open a new tab, and I'm already gonna create uh, the MongoDB chart project. So you just have to, to, to click on this, uh, this uh, nice tab. And from there, I'm just gonna activate uh, MongoDB chart. So it's gonna run and take a few minutes. That's why I, that's what I'm doing it now. Great, so what are we going to do? The first thing we are gonna do is to create two pairs of API keys. Why? So the first one um, at the organization level will be used to um, get the MongoDB uh, building data from the MongoDB Atlas API. And the second pair of API keys is, will be used to um, export the application. So that's gonna be a Realm application from your local environment into MongoDB Atlas. So let's create uh, this one actually. So the second one, so at the project level, um, I'm gonna click here on Access Manager on the top. Um, project access bidding do not delete me and from there I'm gonna create my first pair of API keys let's do it uh, create API keys show the screen description realm I'm gonna call this realm push or whatever you know uh, real push yeah why not um, I'm gonna give the project owner right so this will just be used to um, export the, the application. Once you do it, you can even delete this, uh, this, uh, this API keys. You won't be using it afterwards. So I'm gonna hit next. I'm gonna copy this somewhere. Okay, and I'm just gonna whitelist my IP again, which is not mine, but anyway, um, done. Okay, so we created the first pair of API keys. The second pair of API keys will be, will be created at the organization level. So that's where, um, that's when we're gonna um, 
use the MongoDB API to get the bidding data. So create API keys, create an API key, uh, billing uh, function. Yeah, I'm gonna do this as well to delete so I don't forget. Uh, you won't have to give the organization owner right here, just uh, bidding admin and read only will do. Next, again, I'm gonna copy paste this somewhere. I love the power of copy pasting, that's super powerful. Up. And here again, I'm gonna just whitelist my, uh, my IP. And I'm done. So I'm gonna go back to my uh, project. So delete, uh, delete, uh, and that's the one. That's the one. Just gonna have a look whether great. So the cluster has been uh, has been created. So that's where we are gonna basically put the um, bidding information, and from there MongoDB chart will be able to to populate the the, the bidding dashboard. Great, so now we are gonna just open uh, your, your terminal. Uh, let me just, yeah, do this way. So that's where we are gonna um, first clone the uh, RAM application in, in the local environment. So I'm gonna go on the GitHub. I'm gonna just clone it. That's done, great. And I'm just gonna uh, CD into the project. So that's that's the RAM application uh, in local. So basically we are gonna push this, uh, this application into your MongoDB um, Atlas organization. And, uh, and then we, we will um, uh, create the, the bidding dashboard. So how to do this? So basically we are very nice. We created two scripts for you. So one for Windows and another for Mac. Um, so you won't have to type all the commands or to go through the uh, RAM C um, UI. So basically, you will just be running the script. In the scripts, we will be using the um, RAM uh, CLI commands. So how to run that? You will need to um, install the RAM CLI. So to do so, you need to have um, in local, not packet manager. Uh, and, and then uh, you will be able to, to install um, the, the RAM CLI. So I think uh, at the minute I'm using, let's check the version 2.3.2, which uh, if I'm not mistaken is the last, uh, last version. So um, if you have uh, the version one, just feel free, uh, make sure to, to update to the last, uh, the last version. But anyway, I'm just gonna make my script executable. So change mode. Um, here we go. And from there, I'm just gonna run it. Yeah, no, that that was okay. Great. So the first thing, first thing you you will be asked is to to enter um, the information of the API keys at the project level. So that's the first uh, I created. So I'm gonna put the public API key. It's a private one. And then the same, but at the organization level. Then just to put the name of the cluster you created, um, so for us it's bidding, but could have done something else. So just gonna use the one I created, so bidding. And then the script is gonna run. So successfully logged in, push fail. So that's normal. Um, it fails because the secrets and um, values are, are not created in the in the application you 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 downloaded, you cloned. So that's being done by the script. So as you can see, that was successful. And so now we are gonna push the MongoDB RAM application into MongoDB Atlas. So I'm not entirely sure, but let's have a look actually. 
Uh, if we go back on Atlas, and if we go on Realm, I think we will be uh, will be able to see the the application created. So you, you can see now that bidding is uh, is created. Um, you will have to wait a few seconds to just so we can run the the function to to retrieve the bidding data to organize it into our cluster. So there is a timer of 30 seconds just to make sure that uh, the cluster and the uh, Realm application are well um, connected. So yeah, I just forgot to mention, you just get a coffee or tea so you won't uh, fall asleep while this is running, but should be should be done quite quick. So here you can see everything is successful. So that's the first function, but another one will be will be running very quickly. Hopefully, but I think it should be okay. And that's successful as well. So now what are we gonna do? So everything is, is done uh, actually with uh, MongoDB RAM. So I'm gonna go back in my MongoDB chart um, project. The only thing I'm gonna do first, I'm gonna click on data source and just make sure to select your bidding cluster. So I'm gonna hit next. Again, it takes a bit of time, so that's why the coffee is uh, required for this uh, exercise. Um, so this is my bidding database, in which I'm gonna have all the collection you you, you need. So just hit finish, and we are done. Uh, if you go back to dashboards, we are very nice with you. We already we we also created a, a kind of template which you can modify as you wish, and you can even improve it. That's what uh, I hope you're gonna do. And uh, and so there is a template that you will be able to import uh, in your in your um, MongoDB chart project. So basically that's this template here, chart, a bidding template uh, dot chart. So let's import that. Import, uh, choose file. Uh, Atlas billing, and that's a one. Save. Oh, sorry, I'm just gonna make this a bit bigger now. So here you can see you've got 21 charts which uh, have been created. And if we click there, it's like magic. So everything should be should be working. It's gonna take a bit of time at first to run, but that's 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 normal. So here we go. So basically, here we've got a lot of information regarding your billings. So the biggest spenders uh, can be at the uh, project level, cluster level, or yeah, even at the product level. Um, we use different type of, uh, of uh, so as you can see, so seven days, uh, 12 weeks, and then have 12 months. So that's uh, at the project level, cluster, category, and, uh, and even uh, SKU. So the thing which is cool, so again, uh, if you want to modify this uh, this chart, you just hit edit and you can uh, modify pretty much everything. But we also created some uh, kind of filter here on the, on the right. And so you will see it's gonna be very cool. So basically, if I want just to have a look at two projects, which I want to, to check, you just need to select them. And so basically all of your um, chart will be updated uh, as per what you indicated in the, in the filter. So again, should be refreshed. So as you can see now, when you look at project, you will just see CSM prod and CSM demo, which I selected. You can even say, okay, I don't know, how much uh, did you spend in, uh, in backup? Okay, let's say a very simple question. How much did you spend in, in backup? So I'm just gonna select backup and uh, you will be able to see precisely what you, you, you spent for this um, 
skew. Uh, so here you can see, again, you've got the information at the project level, cluster level, and below category, which is backup, of course, and, uh, and this queue. Or we could have done something maybe different. Uh, I'm going to select everything back. And instead of selecting all the category, I'm just going to select backup. And here again, if you wait a bit, everything will be updated. So the only thing you will be able to see is a consumption related to, to, to backup. So let's just make sure that it worked. Actually, I didn't even select it, sorry. So once I select that, uh, now it should be working fine. Loading chart. And it worked. Perfect. So look, I think that's it. Uh, you can have fun uh, already with uh, with this information. Again, feel free to optimize that. You know that's something just we we built to to help you. You know, get better understanding on the uh, on your building consumption on MongoDB Atlas. So if you can improve the solution, that's gonna help a lot of people. Um, if you want to 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 export this, this chart, so you can uh, you can integrate this on HTLM or in your SDK. So that's also something that you can um, share internally or, or externally within uh, your, your company. I hope you liked the video. Um, feel free to reach out or to send some pull requests if uh, something is not working, but uh, I think it should be okay. Thanks again for, for your time and uh, have a great day. Bye-bye.